Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Gigi Giornetta. It's July 30th, 2013, Tuesday, and let's take a look at our top stories. Tonight, robots to replace farmers within a decade? Then, Chris Christie exploits 9-11 to knock out the competition in the future election. And Obamacare, good enough for the public, but not for the people who passed it. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Starting out with farm robots to make ag workers obsolete within a decade. In true humanist form, in the latter part of the 20th century, automation, the introduction of machines and robots, designed to make mass production more effective, began taking over for human workers in American factories. With automation came efficiency. But that efficiency cost the country as well in terms of good paying jobs. Not surprising since biblically God said that man would toil over the earth and not the robot. Moving on to Globalist. Globalist agitprop Hillary Clinton, the mini-series. Aren't we looking forward to that? In order to get Americans ready for President Hillary Clinton, NBC, the death merchant General Electric's former premier Mockingbird Media asset, now run by transnational Comcast, will produce a television mini-series featuring the erstwhile First Lady and Secretary of State. According to NBC, the four-hour propaganda event will recount Clinton's life as a wife, mother, politician, and cabinet member from 1988 to the present. It'll be interesting to hear how they sugarcoat all the skeletons in the billary closet. And even fast forward to now, Benghazi, and this little clip from 2009, the Margaret Sanger Award. I admire Margaret Sanger enormously. Her courage, her tenacity, her vision. I am really in awe of her. So she's in awe of Margaret Sanger. Hmm. She supports eugenics. Think about that for President Hillary Clinton. And more political propaganda. Chris Christie exploits 9-11 in order to attack Rand Paul. Yeah, he, Rand Paul is confronted by Chris Christie after the New Jersey governor exploited 9-11 and the endless war on terror as an excuse to continue fleecing the American people and stripping them of their constitutional rights. Let's see how Chris Christie feels about people who care about their personal freedom. This strain of libertarianism that's going through both parties right now and, and making big headlines, I think is a very dangerous thought. Um, that I think what's dangerous in our country is to forget that we have a Bill of Rights, to forget about privacy, to give up on all of our liberty to say, oh, we're going to catch terrorism, but you have to live in a police state. Speaking of constitutional rights, Oh, the irony. IRS agents want out of Obamacare. The IRS plays a critical role in Obamacare. It's their job to force you and me to comply with all of the new rules and regulations set forth in the ironically named Affordable Care Act. Well now, these gatekeeping goons are trying to exempt themselves from requiring Obamacare. The National Treasury Employees Union is urging members to write their congressional representatives with a letter that states, I am very concerned about legislation that has been introduced by Congressman Dave Camp to push federal employees out of the Federal Employees Health Benefits Program and into the insurance exchanges established under the Affordable Care Act. Like most other federal workers, the IRS gets health insurance coverage through the Federal Employees Health Benefits Program, which also covers members of Congress. But Republican Dave Camp introduced a bill in response to reports of congressional negotiations exempting lawmakers and their staff from Obamacare. A spokeswoman for Camp said, Camp has long believed every American ought to be exempt from the law, which is why he supports full repeal. If the Obamacare exchanges are good enough for the hardworking Americans and small businesses the law claims to help, then they should be good enough for the president, vice president, Congress, and federal employees. Ah, but that is just it. Obamacare isn't good enough for any of us. That's why the president, the vice president, the members of their staff, and anyone else whose job it is to be familiar with every detail of the law are already trying to weasel their way out of it. For the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. So the IRS wants out of Obamacare. 
And remember when Nancy Pelosi said that they had to pass the Affordable Health Care Act to see what was in it? Well, now we know what's in it. And that includes that the staffers and the administration have to get Obamacare, and they're not real happy about it. And to more overreaching governments, we go to Moscow, where they have decided to put a device in their subways so that they can collect data from passengers. The head of police for Moscow's subway system has said that stations will soon be equipped with devices that can read the data on mobile telephones of passengers. He said the devices have a range of about five meters and can read the SIM card. Sounds like Moscow is taking lessons from the NSA, and I wouldn't be surprised if the New York City subways will have the same machinery put in. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.